Oh, sick. I couldn't do it. You came all that way to save me. You're actually quite hard to hate. So that means we're friends now? <sighs> I guess. Oh. I was, I was wrong about you. Uh, you were wrong about more than that. You Don't kind of just stop. Everything and everyone I love. Hey, it takes a big man to admit he was wrong. And it takes a bigger man not to rub it in the first man's face. <laughs> I am not that big a man. <laughs> I take back what I said about you being hard to hate. Sorry. Yeah. So, how are we going to sort out this mess? Reverse it all. This is for me to fix. I'm going to go back in time. How far back? Does that mean we won't be friends anymore? Yeah, I guess none of this will ever have happened. Things will go back to normal. I Interesting. Your enemy again in the future? Huh. Me too. Goodbye. Wow. That's actually incredibly selfless of uh, this Rob. Is too dangerous. That remote was twelve ninety nine. Hmm. Interesting. Now, when Gumball went back in time in the last episode, where we got to the beginning of this episode, he remembered everything that happened, right? So Rob going back in time this time, wouldn't he remember everything that happened? Because like th they made amends, right? And then they said, you know, well, we're not even going to remember this. In fact, it reminds me of the day of the doctor. It's a doctor who 50th uh, anniversary special where like, you know, after they, the three doctors part ways, um, none of them remember the uh, events of the episode because wibbly wobbly time away me stuff. Um, but, it reminds me of that because, like, they're, <laughs> like, they, they made amends, right? You know, but now that all of that was undone, like, none of it ever actually happened. So he's back to being his nemesis, right? But if Gumball could remember everything by going back in time, wouldn't Rob remember everything going back in time? And therefore, wouldn't Rob have made amends with Gumball? So wouldn't that mean that Rob doesn't hate Gumball anymore? Maybe, like, Gumball would probably still hate Rob because Gumball would be unaware of all the events that happened, but Rob himself shouldn't? Or maybe because he destroyed the remote, he just forgot about all of it. I don't really know. But regardless, this was a great... Actually, I really like the season finale. I think this was better. Like, straight up. I, I, I liked how menacing and um, how much of a threat Rob felt like in, uh, in the season finale. But in this episode, like, he still felt like quite big of a threat... But I like his whole, like, you know, character arc and stuff once they got into the void and, like, Gumball trying to save him and then him realizing, like, man, maybe you're not a terrible person. Maybe I shouldn't be the bad guy. And then going through that whole thing. Like, I really like that as aspect of this episode. So this episode and the last episode were fantastic. I think this one barely holds the edge over the last one just because of Rob's redemption, if you want to call it that. And I really like that. I, I like how, you know breaking these last two episodes have been how they break all of reality and i like how this episode is called three run we just reran the last episode but just read it in a different way like I, it's just so creative the show is so creative and the aspects and everything that's been doing i just i really really like it um yeah i i don't know this is a great season premiere i can't wait to see what else we get into this season i'm sure everything will be back to normal next episode but uh, as far as this two-parter, this was incredible. I think this was really good. It was a really good way to end the season and start the new season. Um, with a Rob-centric lore episode that literally breaks reality, changes characters, and is a lot darker than most of these episodes are. Like, you know, they weren't afraid to kill people in this, which I find really cool. Yeah. Yeah. This was this was good, and the writing was also really good. Um, I mean, the writing's always good in this show, but you know, you don't really get a lot of like darker or more emotional moments in this show. They're usually just done away with quips. And even though that was also the case in this episode, which there's nothing wrong with that, by the way, because a lot of it, you know, is funny and it fits the tone and the theme of each episode or just the show in general. Uh, this in the episode and the last episode had a lot of moments where it's like, oh, frick. This is serious, you know what I mean? 
And I don't know. I just, I really appreciate that coming from the show because you don't get to see that too often. And it's really nice. But yeah, anyways. Um, incredible episode. I can't wait to see what else season five has to offer. But uh, this two parter was fantastic. I think it's my favorite two parter of the show. And definitely my favorite season finale slash season premiere of this show. So maybe it'll just get better. I don't know. But uh, yeah, anyways, hope you enjoyed. And uh, I guess I'll see you in the next one. It seems you've run out of luck. <clears throat> and oh! I can't. Um, whatever you decide, please do it best. Oh! Just save yourself from the original thing that messed your body up. Kind of destroyed everything and everyone I love. Hey, it takes a big man to admit he was. <laughs> it takes a bigger man not to rub it in the first man's face. I am not that big a man. <laughs> I take back what I said. <laughs> I guess none of this will ever have happened and things will go back to normal. I look forward to being Aww. happy again in the future. This is too dangerous. We got confirmation there. Nicole has titties. Was twelve ninety nine. All right. I don't know what to expect anymore, man. This uh, show is so f weird. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Why? Why? Damn it! Do it. I can't. What am I gonna do? Um, whatever you decide. Hurry, man. He's dying. He's being swallowed up by life. Uh, I couldn't okay. do it. You came all that way to save me. You're actually he cares. quite hard to hate. So yeah. that means we're friends now? Yeah. Uh, I guess. I'm sorry. I was I was wrong about you. Uh, you were wrong about more than that. You mm -hmm. kind of destroyed everything and everyone I love. Hey, I know. It takes a big man to admit he was wrong. And it takes a bigger man not to rub it in the first man's face. I, I think that's how it works. <laughs> yeah. Everyone so dead. how are we gonna sort out this mess? Just hit rewind. This is for me to fix. Yeah, hit rewind. Back in time. Wait, does that mean we won't be friends anymore? Ooh, yeah, yeah. I guess none of this will ever have happened, and things will go back to normal. I. So he'll still be the villain. Enemy again in the future. Or the enemy, sorry. Huh. Me too. All right. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. This is too dangerous. Oh, all right. Good job, Rob. Destroyed it. That remote was twelve ninety nine. Ha ha ha. Okay, this episode. Well, it was actually a pretty good ending to it. I mean, Rob, you know, realized that Gumball isn't such a you know a bad guy after all. But he had to rewind to the point where he got the remote. And he also had to destroy it in order for things to kind of go back to normal. It kind of sucks. I mean, these two could have been friends, but you know, because we, we never seen Robin Gumball as much. I mean, we do know why, because he was erased or he was the mistake. You know, I kind of want to see more Rob, you know, be his friend. But I mean, maybe down the line it'll happen, but we'll have to see. But episode was a banger. I loved how it ended. So it's time next episode. Here we go. Quite. And Damn. Fingers. Yeah. Thank you. Why would you yeah. just put it down and press the button? There we go. Pause. I guess Gumball could have just rewinded that whole time. Do it. It takes a big man to admit he was wrong. And it takes a bigger man not to rub it in the first man's face. I am not that big a man. <laughs> I respect it, Gumball. All right, let's go save them. Everybody. So what about Anais? Oh, she should just come back, right? They, I'm sorry, y'all. They did that. I just got to see. I got it. My God. I'm sorry, they did it. This Don't blame me, dangerous. blame Gumball. Mm -hmm. Dang, it was too powerful. You destroyed it. It was 12.99. 12.99 for that is kind of crazy. 12.99 for something that powerful is insane. And who is the dude in the van? Cause like he got a bunch, he must have a bunch of different like powerful stuff. I don't know, that was a great episode though, bro. So now like, do we still have a villain? I don't know, bro. He got robbed. He came to his senses. It seems like they're going to be like friends now. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Uh, but all I know is I liked that episode a lot. It was a two-parter. It was definitely worth it, bro. For sure. If you made it this far, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're new. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.
Oh, other thumb gone. <laughs> Thank you. Why the fuck would you do that? <laughs> Just put it down and then tap it with your other fingers. Oh, the power button. Oh my goodness. If we run Rob, does get talk no jutsu I do not remember what he did to you. He is a villain. Just put him rooting for you. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Damn. I thought rerun Rob had that dog in him. Don't got that dog in him. Ah. Ah. Being hard to hate. Sorry. <laughs> this is for me to fix. For me to fix. Sacrifice. Yeah. I guess none of this will ever have happened. Damn. I'm pretty sure you're gonna see Rob again, though. Uh, somewhere. Goodbye. Wait, how far are we? That means we're going all the way. They actually popped up naked in the ball pit. Them are serving so many years in prison. <sighs> I don't know. The thought just popped in my brain of like the amount of you guys that probably rewinded that scene and paused it or something just for Nicole. Y'all some sick. Y'all have to say it, bro. I already know what the type of time y'all was on, bro. I already know what that time y'all was on, bro. Y'all sick. Of oh, we just gonna straight up destroy it. That remote was twelve ninety nine. Where the f <laughs> at? y'all looking at me before i started this y'all directed me to a, spe a, a specific video of nicole doing unspeakable thing actually i don't know what exactly she did but she did have one of those sites where she was doing i'm assuming unspeakable y'all the y'all the reason i can't even look up her name on google that's never happened before i don't think with anybody i've ever or anything i've ever searched on google how the fuck does a name just get taken over by some of the amount of graffiti uh, somehow on google images i don't understand it you can't search up Nicole Watterson on Google without anything crazy coming. And it's y'all fault. Didn't have to put on safe search. I got put on. Who the f just hit rocks with it?